one word Mega Man speedrun. Let's go. The commentary is gonna be a little weak, just because I'm a little I'm not really sick, but I got ear infection. And also, it's a little difficult for me to concentrate, but I'm gonna try my best. And to commentate while I'm playing the game at a very high level. So I know that's gonna be nice. We gotta wait here, pick up this guy, and then jump over this hole. And we're good to go. Ugh! I made it, I have to take that hit right there. That screen's really easy, just run through the bullets. This part's a little energy based, these guys can jump at you in a weird way, so I this guy. Unfortunately, he jumped at me in a weird way, but we're good. That one's a little difficult trick where you have to cancel your momentum, and then line yourself up with the ladder and then jump through. But, we also got a really good pattern there. We can do the same trick where we cancel our momentum right there. But these guys run on a global timer, so it's completely left dependent on when, when they move. But you can kind of manipulate the luck in your favor, I guess. A little sloppy right there, but it's okay. That's a glitch where you jump to the ceiling and the ladder below the spot where you can grab on from the top to the bottom. This guy is completely luck dependent. Whether or not he does a high jump or a low jump, and it'll take away a, a lot of your life bars. So you gotta be careful. It's not a big deal. But you can... Also, when you get to these doorways the very first time, like when you enter that like transition section, you want to jump because it preserves your Now we're on to Cut Man. He's pretty easy. You just shoot him, jump over, shoot him, and just escape him. Most of the bosses in this game are not too difficult. I'll take one hit, but that's not too good. Cool. Half life anyway. Just trying to get him closer so the thing spawns closer. But after Cut Man, we're going to a Lek Man stage. And this stage is a little frustrating for me. It's not my my least favorite. Iceman is definitely my least favorite. Just because there's this ridiculously bullshit section where you have to generate platforms above the spot and you fall, you basically die. But this part's a little difficult opening, but we got a first try. Those three jumps are really difficult for me. Got it there, and that was actually pretty good. Usually it takes me about 30 tries, and then from here. 
here, we're gonna jump at, or turn right at the end of our jump. We're gonna hold right, and then slightly tap left. It didn't do it that time. And then we get a e, e, e our way out, and when we have it, we press jump, and then we mash to get out. And I actually did that really, really, really fast. That's definitely the best I've ever done that. I usually die there. So that's really good, and we're only at seven minutes, and this is by far my least favorite stage. I just hate this fucking stage. I can see why. But first of all, the music sucks, and we got these fucking annoying enemies over here. You have to shoot them at the top of their heads, or else they'll break out. I'm pretty well right now. And we're gonna transition over to We're gonna go that, um, we're just gonna do that. If you go too high, you'll actually die right there. I'm really not sure why you die. It doesn't really make any sense. We're gonna eat that hit, that's okay. This stage is also very annoying because it's very laggy. Uh, this game that it plays on still has the lag of the old NES. That was a good section right there. Two beams right there. Now this is my least favorite section in the entire run. If you get hit right here, you basically die. And we did that really, really, really good. Very, very proud of myself. The left beam actually. We're basically done with the run at that part. We're done with that part. Hopefully this guy jumps over us. He doesn't, he doesn't jump over us, but I'm not really too afraid of the uh, Iceman himself. That's pretty difficult. I'm choosing at the right time to kill these guys. And especially since we got the that little hook there, I'm, I'm really, really not worried. We're gonna do is we're gonna jump, shoot, and then shoot, and then back here, and shoot one time, we should be. Then we gotta avoid these, or just take the damage. Really good time. We're not even at 10 minutes, and we beat three stages. And that's, that's definitely my best time. And after Iceman, we're gonna go to Fireman stage. Because that's his weakness. This stage, I'm always a little scared on, just cause, it's not cause it's hard, but it's the one, it's a stage I really don't practice that often. But we're gonna use the elect beam to get rid of these things. Ugh. Almost 
got that one. Okay. It also despawns. There's usually an enemy right here that you have to face, but it actually despawns it, so it's good. Right here we're just gonna use the ice beam because it freezes these flames. It's very those flames are very annoying. Right now, we're gonna use the magnet beam to get over here. Just use that right there. Just use that right there. Now, this part's an interesting trick that you can do. Fall right here. Puts you all the way over there. I'm gonna just take a hit. Ugh, but we're really doing good. There's a really, really difficult trick that I tried to do here. That is not the move. We're actually, we're gonna use these These guys are the things I was talking about earlier. Really annoying. Very difficult to get rid of these guys. We can just jump through twice, and I think we're at the end of the level. Yes, we are. And then right here, we're just gonna freeze these guys. This weapon's actually very helpful because it doesn't kill enemies, it just freezes them. It's honestly, a lot of times, enemies, some, enemies, some enemies explode. And right here, we're gonna use. Um, a glitch, a, a pause glitch, we just gotta keep, we're not doing it effectively right now, but we're trying to test. We should get rid of him. It's, it's, well, it's a lot harder than it looks, it's coming pretty well. Each, different, each boss is a different amount of invincibility frames, but we did that really good. And so we're on to our next stage, which will be Bomb Man. And after this, we only have three, I think four or three more levels, considering on what you count the final bosses as levels. Uh, and we got. These guys are really fucking annoying. This guy, right here, we're gonna do a short hop. Freeze him in the middle of the air so we can get by him. He's actually really annoying to do that. We're doing really good on Bomb Man right now. Which is not usually what happens. Or, well, I'm, just, I'm just not really used to this stage though. Now this is the part that I really don't like, I really hate doing this jump, but I do it every time. Oh, give him back. We still have a bit of there, but it's not like Hopefully, I don't get hit right here. Completely random to get hit, and that's good. We didn't get hit. And we're 
gonna wanna pull out our fire weapon and do the same trick that we just did with Perfect. Really good job. I mean, we're also standing in the correct spot. That's really good. We're through Bomb Man and we're on to Guts Man, who's not difficult, but the beginning of his level is very annoying to me. I'm really not that good at it. It always scares me a little bit. We're on to Guts Man. And it's kind of funny because normally, with the, the glitch that I did in Elect Man to get the Magnet Beam, normally you go to this stage first. This section is beginning is very scary, so I'm just gonna try to bang the beam through it. Oh shit, I, I missed the first section, that's okay. Good. Usually that takes. Actually, that's really, really good because most speedrunners actually have to do that with like two or three hits. I don't know. Uh, okay. We're on to the Wily stage. We got a really, really good run going on here. We're 18 minutes for the Wily stages, and essentially. We're almost, we're, we're over half, I'd say we're over halfway through the game at this point. And maybe we could get a sub 30, which means that we can beat the game on the 30 minutes. But maybe we could even do better than that. I don't know. We're gonna immediately switch to the ice uh, slasher to freeze these guys. Right there, I got a lucky. That's okay, we take that hit, it's not a big deal. Hopefully he jumps for us good. Oh, we got two unlucky patterns. That's okay though. Okay, we need to use this thing. Sometimes you get a duplication glitch right there. And this you gotta be pretty good with your timing. I messed that up the first time. It's okay. Got it that time, so that's pretty good. And this. Sometimes I go for that life up on block, but we got it, so that's really good. We got unlucky right there because they spawn basically on top of us. Almost impossible. That's okay. My game, my inner key wasn't working there for some reason. But we're just gonna get through these blocks. Eliminating those blocks. Uh, okay. Now this, here's another cool trick. You can just fall through the ceiling over the mat. And here's another part where it's very awful. Completely locked RNG base. We 
got to this part, so that's good. I'm probably gonna get to the final, uh, the boss of this stage and then just casually die. It's a really good respawn point that we have right there. But, maybe, maybe I might not try to die. If I somehow don't die in that time frame, I'll be impressed with myself. Uh, no big deal. But he's up top, he's right here. Now, if we can survive this without dying, I'd be very impressed with myself, because this is just my pattern. But here we go. Pick one hit there. And we die. That's okay. It's not a big deal. We spawn basically right there. And we, that was our first step. The and that's the spot I usually die. I'm just gonna like to respawn here. So that's really good. So I gotta remember. Yeah. And then we gotta do the boss trip. It's really easy to do with this guy. Because he actually has a lot of disability frames. And normally in a real run, that would be the hardest boss. I did this without actually. The very first time I played this game, I did this without doing that. It took me a while. It's not as hard once you know the pattern. And you have to like short hop. But here he's basically he's one of the easier easier bosses. Although I died, I, I came in. Health off. It's okay though. So we're on to the next stage. This part I I literally always die right on the first jump because these guys are so. So hard to but we didn't die there. And I guess we didn't die there. And we're just gonna take that. We're just gonna take that. We're gonna fall through and we get a rematch against this. Cut me. We're gonna switch over this side because we need to get over here. Because that pushes us through there. A little bit laggy right there, almost messed up the mouse with that. That's okay. Doing good. And this guy, we're gonna wait for him to get up close to us. It's fire. And then do that again. We should be good. I like Bit Man is really he should be a lot more scary, but he just kinda Always jumps, no matter what, so you can avoid This part is very difficult to avoid, though. These guys all, literally always hit you. You can't just really get that shit anyway. You just kind of have to do this. And the game knew that they, they, they fucked up because they, you only take like, one bar of health. So it's just like, yeah, we're sorry. It's, like, it's just like a consolation prize. Ugh. We're just gonna cut through this right here. Doing good right now. Just skip that. Right here. Gonna shoot that. And then we're gonna switch the fire weapon. And we have the first boss of the stage. And hopefully I can get this. Ugh. Also, did I say sub 25? It's okay that we died there, we couldn't really avoid that because Dick was on a bitch. We died anyway. Probably gonna need the game over at one point just to refill out our energy for the final boss, but that's not a big deal. We might not even need to do that. I don't have the great weapon out right now. This guy's a little bit based on Earth too. It's just he keeps falling. Like, 
sometimes he does not like this to you. There, we're doing good. And we got him. And we really... Unfortunately, we really don't have much fire weapon energy left. So, it might be in our best interest to game over on this next screen. Because I think we only have one life. But... There actually is a trick of I'm very bad at this. There's a cool speedrunning trick right here. If I can do it, I'm gonna literally die. I've only ever done it one time. Basically, completely well. It involves Magnadine. And I actually got it! Oh, really cold select. good right there doing good and we get the next boss and if I have zero life I'm just gonna die yes I'm just gonna die right now. because it's gonna refill my energy so that I could beat the boss and it only results in like a 10 second boss so that's that's a win. really good win We actually might be able to get, if I do, I don't think I'll be able to get in the uh, below 30 minutes, but I'll be able to get in the Really good right there. This is probably going to be my upload. This one video I actually uploaded because I'm doing really, really, really good. I've never, ever done this game before. Now we got ice. I'm basically going to do the same thing that I'm There, but that's okay. Guts, man. Bombs. Did that first try. Wow. And we're on to the final boss, which I'm just gonna die right now. Die. 
Someday I'll get better at this where I can do this without dying. Shit. This is very intense right now. I'm very excited. But hopefully I can do this. This would be the 100% of the video I have. Come on, baby. Let's get this. The beginning of this is not too Good. I'm gonna take the hit there because we can't really avoid it. specifically, but I think it was 31 seconds, or 31 minutes and 31 seconds. And at the end, we get this cutscene. Oh, Megan just straight up runs away from Dr. Wow. But I'm very proud of myself because this took a long time. I probably tried to record this a hundred times for many of glitches because they simply were just very difficult to perform. But finally, the effort paid off, and I'm very proud. I'm going to keep saying that. And I, at one point, I was getting so frustrated that I was going to do a voiceover for this because I could not talk and play at the same time. But it, I'm very, I don't know, someone did do a voiceover. the video when Mega Man jumps in the sky in victory, but uh, that's what I'm feeling right now. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, maybe I'll go for a world record. I'm just kidding. I couldn't. But, you've been watching, you've watched the KZTZ Tizzle video. And, let me know in the comments what you guys want next. Yeah!